My next guest has managed to squeeze an awful lot into his almost 60 years, from music, of course, with Spandau Ballet, to acting. Most recently, we saw him in drama McDonald's and Dobbs, to presenting alongside his son, Roman. Well, Martin Kemp is back on telly tonight, looking at how to age well. Lee Ginogli is 81 years old. She's a super ager. She has a fitness of someone in their middle age. I don't feel 81. Point the toes again. Go over here. The experienced climber set himself a superhuman challenge. I decided I would climb all the Munros as an eight-year-old. That's a staggering 282 mountains. This app says it can predict your biological age just from your photograph. Let's have a look. When I'm 60 this year, and it's saying that I'm 42. I'll take that. I would have gone younger. I would have gone much younger. How are you, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was a fix. I said someone <laughs> fixed it. Yeah, I'm really well. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. What a great idea for a show. Aren't those that I mean, those two that we saw there in their eighties, astonishing. Yeah. It actually it actually makes so, me feel good. <laughs> they're so inspiring. The whole program is inspirational. You know, it's kind of like it, it really you know, I come from I grew up in a really hedonistic lifestyle, you know, rock and roll. It was all big shoulder pads, big hair and rock and roll. <laughs> and so I think what that taught me was that later on in life, you learn that you have to start to look after yourself at some point. And that's what is good about this show. It shows you that it is never too late to start looking after yourself. You know, and there's so many things out there now as well that they look at with technology that uh, tells you if you are prone to certain diseases, if you're prone to uh, bad hearts. And what we shouldn't do is uh, be afraid of that. Right. You know, because a lot of people will say, um, you know, I'd rather not know. But you shouldn't do that. You should know so that you can avoid it because there's lots of things that can change that path. Well, see, that's what I really liked about the show, because it's not, it's not this kind of quite trivial, oh, how to look younger and, you know, do face things and have surgery and all that yeah. malarkey. It's more about what you can do to change your lifestyle. And you said you're quite right. When you were with Spandau Ballet, it was, it was junk food, it was not sleeping, it was in hotel yeah. rooms, maybe a little bit of boozing, all of that. And of course, you just can't, a little bit, you just can't a little do bit. that. Just a wee, don't you be damn it. But you've, yeah. stopped, you've stopped boozing. And do you think that that has made yeah. a, a massive difference? Huge, huge for me, yeah. Um, I stopped drinking, like, probably about 10 years ago, really. You know, listen, I'm not completely... I, I have the odd glass of wine sure. here and there, like, you know, once every couple of months if I go out to dinner, but but I'm not a drinker. I don't drink at home. Uh, I don't smoke. And, and I, I think it was the drinking thing mm. that I realised was slowing me down. And for me, that was the big change in my life. You know, um, yeah. so, as soon as I stopped that, I started to feel a lot healthier. And uh, but as I got older, I realized I think when I got to my 50s, I started to realize, hang on, Mark, you need to find some kind of exercise that you're happy with and something mentally that you're happy with that keeps you feeling young. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, the thing is, that's the thing about booze. And we've all been boozing far too much during this lockdown. Of course we have. But just don't yeah. batter it. You know, just don't go crazy. Yeah. You can have, you know, you have yeah. a couple of glasses, but you're right. The smoking thing. I am so glad that I've never smoked because you do see, particularly women, you get that wee cat's bottom mouth, you know, like that, me, 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 me. And, and yeah, you do, and it yeah. affects your skin and your hair and everything apart from all the, all of how it's affecting your insides. So we're lucky that yeah. we don't smoke. That's a really, really good thing. And that's one thing I would say there's, to people. There's nothing, that ex uh, there's nothing that upsets me more in this world than seeing young guys, girls and guys uh, smoking. That upsets me more than anything else. I, I agree with you. It's a... Uh, it, yeah, it's it's. I think we're actually. I think the younger generation, though, as with everything, um, they can teach us ever such a lot. And I, and I think that they, you know, it's, it's it's going out of fashion. And talking about the younger generation, you must be so proud of your boy. Um, I know you've worked oh. together, and you you know you've been working yeah. together, and he's been amazing. And he's been so open. He's been talking about his mental health, been very open about yeah. that. And again, you know, he's talking to to a generation that we need to get that message out there. So good on him. Well, Roman knows that the generation he's talking to, his generation, he, he, he has a, an audience because he talks to them every morning on his radio show. Uh, and I love the way, I'm so proud of him, Lorraine, the way that he's putting himself up there to say, you know, it can happen to anybody. You know, he comes from a, a loving family, but he found growing up at certain points difficult. Yeah. And in the same as all kids do. 
but he had people he could go to and he could talk to. Um, yes. And what Roman's trying to do is, is to get young guys that are having mental health problems to open up to either their friends, their family, or to find someone they can talk to. And that's what Roman's trying to drive. Oh, it's fantastic. Good on him. It really is. It really is. And I know that yeah. in normal circumstances, if you were turning 60, you would have the biggest bash, a huge party. But of course, it's going to be, it's, we can't. We can't do these things right now. But I, what are you planning for the, for the big occasion? Well, my birthday is not until October, so hopefully so it's going to be a huge bash. Please let there be. That's true. Yeah. I, that's true, actually. But, but, but I, I don't know. You know, um, I, I reckon I'll talk to the band, see if I can get them back together for a couple of members. <laughs> now that would <laughs> no, be something. You know. If you could do that and get everybody in the same room without any any nonsense, that would be great. But what a time that yeah. would be for you to for to you to do that. It would just be really, yeah. really good. But I think and it's we all do, that's brilliant that you've got your birthday to look forward to because I think we, we, we need something, don't we? We all need something yeah. just to yeah. ahead of is just well, to focus on. It's been difficult, hasn't it? This third oh, lockdown, yeah. I will not sit here and make out it's been easy. It's I found this really difficult, you know, um, even though I've been working. Because what it's not just the, the financially the problems that you have when you're not working. It's the fact that you're, you're not socialising and you're not talking to people and you're not in there with the gossip and, yeah. and the little bits of information and the fun that you bring home. And all that's gone and that's missing. And if I feel that then I can only imagine what younger kids are feeling. Mm. And that's what I feel. I feel as if it's so... They should be out having fun. And, and at that age, they can yeah. go out and booze. They're allowed. It's, just, it's yeah. just when you get a bit older that you have to sort of, like, say, steady on. Thank you so much Absolutely. for being here. I, I really appreciate it. I really sure. do. And the report is How to Age Well, isn't it? It's on tonight, yes. ITV. Yes at half past seven and it's and it's a great yeah. watch and you have look at you you embody aging well <laughs> men, are, men are so annoying men are so annoying thank you martin great to see you thank you so much and to you see you later thank you. don't forget you can watch full episodes of lorraine on the itv hub and all the best clips compilations and playlists right here on our channel just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.